Hey everybody, Liz LePage here. I know a lot of you guys are probably curious as to whether Photoshop and On One Photo Raw are still going to work together as two programs, and the answer is a definite yes. If you're like me and you do professional retouching, or you really, really like to use a lot of the specialty tools inside of Photoshop, you want to be able to pair it with all of your other favorite programs like On One. So you're still going to be able to do that. I've got an image open here inside of Photoshop, and on the right hand side, you'll see that I've done some specialty retouching to this image. And this is from a larger wedding shoot that I did. And I want to be able to match this image with all of the other photos that I batch processed inside of effects. So after I'm done with all this retouching, I need to go into effects and make some adjustments. And I can do that through Photoshop. I don't need to exit the program, go into on one, make those edits, save it from there. And then what if I want to go back and do more retouching? So all of this comes together here inside of Photoshop, which is great. It's really important that you also make edits on a photo based layer. You'll see at the top of my layer stack, I have this merged layer if I tried to open on one with my image on a blank layer or on an adjustment layer, it's not going to do anything. So do make sure that you make that adjustment before you go into on one. Now there's two different ways that you can access the suite. There's an on one panel, which you'll see up in the top right hand corner, which I can open up and I'll have access to all of the different programs inside of on one. The way that I like to go into on one is by going up to my menu going to file, automate, and then choosing the program from there. So I'm going to jump into on one effects to start. So I've got my photo here inside effects and on the left hand side, I have all of my different presets. And as I mentioned before, this wedding was processed with a lot of presets to make the editing process go faster. So I'm going to jump right into my faded and matte category and I'm going to go to the preset that I was using earlier with this same wedding. We'll go ahead and choose matte too. On the right hand side, the new effects stack makes it a lot easier to customize to this image. So all of the filters that were applied to this photo are expanded and I can make really fast adjustments. For instance, if I go down to my tone enhancer, this is where I apply the matte, but this photo is a little dark. So I actually want to lighten it up a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I also want to darken my blacks. So it was a little dark, but I also need to make sure that those blacks are solid and they have that nice reddish tone to them that's applied with my vintage filter. So I can go through and I can scroll up and down this effect stack way easier than I used to and make fast adjustments. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and just click done and it's going to bring me back into Photoshop. And there we go. So on the right hand side, back in our layer stack, you'll see that this was my photo based layer here that I started out with. This is what my image looked like after all of my retouching. And then the layer labeled on one photo raw. This is the matte based filter that I used for this specific image. I can also take this layer into on one resize if I need to get my image ready for print. And the other thing that's really cool is you can actually create smart object layers and access on one through smart filters. Gives you the ability to re-edit those effects later after you've closed out of your photo in Photoshop. So there's a lot of really awesome ways that you can pair on one and Photoshop together.